Preparing for a hurricane also means making sure things are in order for your pets. So what kind of plan should you have in place? Joining us now with some tips is Jessica Tronoski with the Hawaiian Humane Society. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Now, of course, hurricane is approaching quickly. What should pet owners keep in mind when making preparations? Now, your plan, uh, first and foremost, should include knowing where your nearest shelter is and having a prepacked pet emergency kit. Um, in the case of an evacuation, uh, Hawaiian Humane staff and volunteers actually help run the shelters that city and county opens during a disaster. Um, and at these shelters, the Red Cross helps with the care of people, and uh, Hawaiian Humane focuses on the pets and stray animals in need. And what should owners pack for their pets just in case they do need to evacuate? Right. So um, shelters may not have all the things that your pet needs, even though all of the shelters on Oahu are pet friendly. Um, and that's why you need to be prepared. Um, your pre-packed emergency kit should include a 14-day supply of food and water um, in sealed containers, um, along with any food bowls that you may need and water bowls, um, a crate or a carrier that your each pet can stand up, turn around, and be comfortable um, as well as an ID card attached to uh, their kennel or their crate. Um, your pet's leash is their leash or in their collar with their um, ID tag, bedding, towels, your pet's uh, favorite toys and treats, um, hygiene and grooming supplies, um, your pet's vaccine records are really important to have and other veterinary information such as medications and their dosage and administration uh, in instructions. Um, a pet first aid kit if you have one and you know in case you're separated from your pet having current photos on your phone is always a good idea but you know pet owners usually always have that so that's a good thing to have on hand as well. You just talked about pets and maybe they get lost or you get separated from them. Right. If your pet does get lost what should you do? Um, you know, this is why proper pet ID is so, so important and why we stress this year round. Um, as of July 1st, it's actually mandated by City and County of Honolulu to have your pet dog and cat microchipped. Um, when your pet is microchipped, um, they can be scanned at any veterinary office or um, animal welfare organization like Hawaiian Humane. Um, and we can scan that microchip and contact you right away if we find your pet. Um, for pets that already have a microchip, please be sure before any storms hit that your microchip information, your contact info, is updated on that microchip. Um, but if your pet is lost or if you find a lost pet, um, Hawaiian Humane is Oahu's official lost and found for pets. And you can make either a um, found report or a lost report on our website at hawaiianhumane.org slash lost and found. So we're there for you in those times as well. All right, so important to have a plan, not just for humans, but also for our four-legged family members. Jessica with the Hawaiian Humane Society, thank you so much for those tips this morning. Please be safe. Of course, thank you. All right, time now to toss things over to Kelly.